The first elections in the world in 2021 are right here in Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan. An EU reporter was invited to join a mission of international observers. This election marks the first to be held under Kasim Jomar Tokyev's presidency. I talked with members of the observer mission and asked them if they believe these elections have been free and fair. Well, I think uh, there is two countries who are very interesting in Central Asia. Uh, it's Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. And uh, it's strange, but it's coincidence, but there is election in the same times. Uh, uh, Kyrgyzstan is a democratic system, but in this moment with a little crisis. Kazakhstan is uh, maybe it's go slower, but deeper. And uh, when we see the, the path during the last uh, 30 years, I think the Kazakhstan uh, has the first place in Central Asia. Why? Because without any tension, uh, first the country stay together to manage to have a country who has the who is biggest, who is bigger uh, than many countries in Europe, uh, big like Europe, world Europe, and many nationalities live together in harmony and little by little grow up of economy and little by little grow up for democracy. Kazakhstan is a good example. Of course, uh, it's not a perfect example, but uh, the independence was uh, 1991. That means in uh, 29 years, the road has been made is uh, great. And uh, I think uh, it's a good example and maybe the best example in Central Asia. So uh, we look at the European country as a partner when it comes to environmental uh, issues. We have this Green Technology Center and we strongly cooperate with uh, European experts. Uh, after elections, we will continue working strongly with uh, European experts and continue to cooperate with the European Union on environmental issues, on health care, on the quality of education. Free elections and the opening of Kazakh society means that the EU looks to Kazakhstan as a reliable partner for the future. This is Tori MacDonald from EU Reporter in Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan.